reconvene the Wayne County Board of Commissioners meeting for a 930 public hearing on a proposed economic development agreement between Wayne County and Wayne County Development Alliance for the construction of two shell buildings at the Park East Industrial Park in Goldsboro, North Carolina. The Board of Commissioners may choose to act on the matter following the public hearing. And we have an appointment committee next. Um, and you see those appointments, motion to appoint Esteban Guzman to the Wayne County Latino Council, reappoint Paula Edwards, Angie Boswell, Patricia Byer, Terry Davis, Kristen Alexander, and Cheryl Crumpler to the Commissioner's, commissioners Council on, of for Older Adults. I'll get that spit out. And number eight, a motion to reappoint Dr. Osborne Wilder to the Animal Control Advisory Committee. And then we move on to the consent. I'm going fast because we got a lot of stuff on this agenda. And uh, I'll turn that over to Allison. Okay. Your first budget amendment is for DSS, and they are asking to reallocate $25,415 from salaries and wages to overtime. Um, and this is just because they're. <coughs> um, they have had an increased amount of overtime due to special needs and travel required of clients that have come in this fiscal year, and so they are adjusting their budget um, accordingly. Okay, the next several budget amendments I'll cover at one time for time's sake because they all have the same explanation. And this would cover <clears throat> numbers 359 through 366, no, 65. So 359 through 365. These are all for the health department. And um, the way they collect, the way Medicaid is now reimbursed to them is different than how we originally budgeted for it and how we used to handle it. And so um, as the changes were being made, she had set it up one way at the beginning of the fiscal year, but then had to modify it just for um, ease of reporting. And so we have asked her to adjust her budget to match that. So what you can see here is that there's like um, a Medicaid line item on this first one that is decreased, but then there's several Medicaid line items increased. And she's basically splitting it out between all the different um, programs within the health department. And that's happening for each type of insurance. So you've got MCO Medicaid, insurance reimbursements, um, well Care, United Health, and Healthy Blue. And so that's, that's what she's doing here is basically just making her accounting simpler from ease of reporting and being able to show true cost and revenues for each of her programs within the health department. So I felt like it would be easier to explain these all at one time. So then if you move on to number 366, that's the Sheriff's Office and Controlled Substance. Um, and it's for $3,523.92. They are anticipating funds from controlled substance tax and appropriating it accordingly. Then your next budget amendment is for the Health Department for $2,530. They are anticipating an additional um, amount from, for their tuberculosis program and appropriating it to professional services medical. You have a budget amendment from Cooperative Extension for $2,500, and this is to anticipate the funds received from Southern Bank for the 4-H Robotics Club to go towards the building of their robotics program. Okay, and your last budget amendment is for is from the finance department, but specifically for CDBG. This is the neighborhood revitalization program, the grant that we received um, back a while ago. That grant program is sort of getting underway, and we do need to anticipate the seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and appropriate it. Um, and it is going to be man managed by RSM Harris. He manages um, all of our other CDBG projects. And that's all I have for you. All right, thank you, Allison. Uh, moving on to number 10 is a motion to amend the Wayne County AR ARPA grant project ordinance in the amount of $474,907.50 to fund the great grant match to Infinity Link FiberNet LLC. Uh, you want to speak on that, Andrew? Good morning. 
Um, action number 11 and, and 12 kind of go together, but um, I can take them both in turn. So number 11, um, this is the great grant that was awarded um, that we applied as a partner with Infinity Link Fiber. Um, and I actually pulled up the map uh, so you all can see. Let that load for a second. But um, this is the great, uh, we applied for three great grants. This is one that has been awarded. Um, and our match to this was $474,907.50. Um, these are all um, ARPA funds, and it's not your $10 million revenue loss. Put that to the side. It's the other four, approximately 13, 14 million that we have, and this is uh, dedicated to infrastructure. So this is a permissible use under ARPA, and this goes through the um, state, and this is our match for the grant. Um, and let me zoom in so you can see exactly what is covered under this. So we had three partners that we um, applied for, Infinity Link, uh, open broadband and then North State Communications and this is the uh, grant that was awarded and these are the affected households that they will cover. So you can see it, it stretches from the eastern end of the county all the way to the north and pretty much all the way to the Johnston County line and the Wilson County line. So these are the affected households and you can see right here the total project cost the amount of the grant and then the households that will be served out of that. So in order for us to go ahead and allocate that money, we need to amend the grant project ordinance in this amount, and that's what number 11 is for. To you. Excuse me, number 10. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, I'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. The next one is a motion to approve a growing uh, great grant county match agreement between the County of Wayne and Infinity Fiber Link LLC subject to county attorney approval. So as part of this um, uh, great grant project, there's gonna be a three party MOU between the state of North Carolina, the county, and then the ISP, in this case, Infinity Link. Um, that's still being worked out with the state. There's still some things they need to iron out. They're waiting on some guidance from US Treasury. Um, but before that can be finalized, we actually need an agreement between us and the ISP to govern how we're gonna award these grants. Um, are our match. So it's going to specifically go into how did they request funding from the county, um, where are these funds coming from, like we've discussed their ARPA funds, um, and some other things like that. Um, so before that three-party MOU can be, um, can be finalized, again, we're still waiting on the state for that, we need to move forward with this county agreement. Um, and that has to be executed before. We're working on that now, um, so that's why we've made it subject to county attorney approval. So um, we hope to get these finalized. We can get this match agreement finalized within next week. The state is saying that three-party MOU, hopefully in a matter of weeks, can be finalized. Um, and what we've told, what we've been told by the state um, from DIT is as soon as those are finalized, they will upload those to their maps and then they will move forward with a second round of funding, which hopefully would be good news for us because we have another project, um, another application with open broadband, but um, still another one um, that would cover, if you can see the mouse right here, basically it would cover this line right here. So it's with North State. They are currently um, going through a project with Goldsboro to expand in-ground fiber. And then if they are awarded the great grant, they would like to extend that fiber and run it all the way down um, pretty much to that Sampson County line. So um, hopefully, um, knock on wood, we'll be awarded that one as well. But um, it's good news for Infinity Leak, and we'll get this one finalized and get the project started. How long will it take, Andrew? Do you, you know, know what, um, how long it will take? How long will it take once they start? I'm not sure. Years. We can. We can ask. I know that DI, DIT has has told us on phone calls that they're they're going to be monitoring this really close and try to get these ISPs moving as quickly as they can. So, any questions on that? Uh, number twelve is a motion to approve the sale of surplus property located at 200 North Carolina Street, uh, jointly owned with the City of Goldsboro. And you probably have some info on that one too. Yeah, this is a, a motion, or this is a, a former foreclosure action. Um, the uh, offer, the adjoining property owner made this offer to purchase, um, and all the adjoining property owners have been notified um, of this offer. 
So if you all approve this, then we will send it to the city for their approval and move forward with that process. What was the amount that uh, they all? Do you have that? Um, $2,000 and the tax value was $3,320. And my understanding is the person who made this offer has been maintaining it himself for a matter of year, number of years. He's been cutting the grass on it. We we got let's make sure I under we got a discrepancy between the Civic Link and our paper on what numbers we're on. Is it? Uh, that's what we we're just discussing. Okay. Okay. My paper says thirteen, but the screen Yours says twelve. Is correct. Okay, got it. All right. That was my mistake. Any questions on that? Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, under new business, we have a motion to approve a resolution by the County of Wayne authorizing the execution of an opioid settlement and approving the supplemental agreement for additional funds between the state of North Carolina and local governments on proceeds relating to the settlement of opioid litigation. And of course, this was the additional monies that we received from the pharmacies, uh, who else was, was just pharmacies? Just pharmacies. Just pharmacies. Uh, so we would need to have this take action on that. Is there any questions on that? This money's coming in quicker than the other money. Yeah, they're all at different schedules. So uh, some of them agreed to pay sooner. Some of them agreed to pay at a slower pace. But uh, we need that approval of that resolution so we can get it turned in. Uh, also, number 15 is a motion to approve an opioid settlement working group for Wayne County opioid settlement. Uh, we've asked for the Madam Chair to assign that group. You can take, take action on that today or you can take time and uh, think about who you want on that group. Uh, moving on to public comment section, each speaker will have a time limit of four minutes. Then you move on to county manager's report, board of commissioners committee reports, and we go into closed session. We will have closed session today. Uh, then we come back for a work session, number 16, with Davenport to review RFP summaries and discuss the preferred financing approach for the DSS and health building. And number 17, we go to a motion to select the winning bank lender for DSS and health building financing. And then we would adjourn, Madam Chair. We want to do a closed session. We can go into closed session now if you'd like. Uh, before we do that, I do have a question uh, in regards to item 15 there. Um, the, we are approving a working group, but in that approval, are we uh, stating that the chairwoman will actually be appointing that mm -hmm. a group? Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, good, good, good. I just wanted to make sure who, how are you going to course, there, the group? This would be the group that would entertain options on how to spend your opioid funding. Of course, those options would come back to the full board for a vote. Okay, great, yes, sir. Okay, thanks. Go into closed session. Do I have a motion to go in closed session? So moved. Be for the purpose of uh, personnel to talk about public offices, of the respective public offices, the expansion or location of industries in Wayne County, and to consult with your attorneys to uh, preserve attorney client privilege. Well, let's just, she doesn't have her iPad, so let's just um, go ahead and, and vote manually on this. Wayne and Freeman. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Okay.
There we go. Make, I make a motion that we recess five minutes.